Right now, the space-based economy encompasses about $350 billion per year worth of work. But over the next 30 years, forecasts say that the space-based economy is going to grow to about $3 trillion per year. So there's going to be massive growth in terms of our investment in space. And we want to be at the front end of that. We want to help conceive, uh, design, implement systems that can get us out to the Earth-Moon system, explore the lunar environment, and utilize lunar orbit as a stepping off point, both to access the lunar surface, as well as the inner solar system, comets, asteroids, Mars, and, and beyond. Through the CisLunar Initiative, Purdue will provide national leadership in the development of CisLunar space. The initiative encompasses five key areas. We need to be able to access the region within the Earth-Moon neighborhood from the perspective of getting off the Earth into that region of space, but we also need to move around it. Purdue has a lot of strengths across all of engineering associated with the activities that we want to do within this initiative. We are well placed in the propulsion area as well as in mission design. Things in cislunar which have to be computed in a way that incorporates multiple gravity fields, that's one of the things that we're well known for. So a key part of access is to provide the propulsion devices to take us from Earth to low Earth orbit to the Moon and beyond. So what we do here at the Mori Zucker Labs is uh, allowing us to test rocket engines at conditions that no other university in academia can do in the United States at the very least. We ask the students to do everything from the ground up. They design the experiment, they assemble them, they test them, and we produce students with uh, great capabilities that industry and government is willing to hire very quickly. Resources really are what power the cislunar economy. Just like on Earth, when you want to go look for resources, you hire a geologist, right? So the geologist is the one that goes out in the field, uh, looks for a place you could start a mine, you could find minerals or other resources you need. And the same is going to be true on the moon. So on the moon, we need geologists, which in space we call planetary scientists. So here at Purdue, we have a huge planetary science group uh, who studies the moon as well as other planetary bodies. And so we have the experience in order to be able to look at, say, remote sensing data from the moon, from satellites and determine where on the moon you might be able to find the resources you need to extract things like air, water, building materials, and fuel. The CisLunar Education Program is an opportunity to connect to the broader CisLunar Initiative, all the state-of-the-art research that's happening in each component. Um, we'll be able to take that and translate some of the research to educational initiatives, focusing on K-12 students. So how do we translate that uh, so that K-12 classrooms and teachers can use that in their classroom in partnership with the School of Engineering Education here at Purdue. We'll also translate that into the CisLunar Cyber Hub that'll make tools and data and simulations available to the broader public, as well as our online program that reaches a, a broader audience through Purdue Online. Space habitats, just like habitats here on Earth, are going to have to experience extreme environments. In space, the, ex the environments are going to even be more extreme. On Earth, we deal with earthquakes, we deal with hurricanes, we deal with heat, we deal with dust storms, we deal with all sorts of different hazards including things like meteoroids, but those don't happen very frequently here on Earth. But in space, these things happen much more frequently. We have to deal with all of these plus a lot of other ones. So bringing our experience to these extreme environments on extraterrestrial planets is what's going to allow us to do something that has not been achieved before. We need to treat it just like we would treat any other kind of important infrastructure here on Earth, like our airports, our roads, our shipping lanes. And the defense of those uh, infrastructure assets is, is crucial to the confidence that we all have to conduct economic activity across national boundaries and between countries. And in the same way, we need to be able to ensure that space is free from threats or activities that may produce space debris, for example, which could be catastrophic for both human and robotic systems that we have in the cislunar environment. For all of those reasons, and to make the cislunar space really the next destination for humanity off of the planet Earth, we need to make sure that it's safe for everyone's use. Space has a special place in the DNA of Purdue Engineering, and this year, 2019, has a special meaning for all of us. Through Purdue Engineering's unique research contributions, talent pipeline development, and many partnerships, the Purdue Cislunar Initiative will leave new footprints in getting us back on the moon, staying on the moon, and going beyond the moon. <laughs>